with a gold trader that bragged about how easy it is to manipulate prices. Submitted by Thursday. Okay, so this is about Chenu and Vorley. Previously discussed on this channel, the crimes committed in the precious metals market. Well, you should be watching particularly silver, the one that's primed for the biggest returns. Chat logs introduces evidence by prosecutors at the Chicago spoofing trial of two former precious metals traders, Bank of America Corp's Merrill Lynch. Unit shows one of them, Edward Bases, bragging about how easy it is to manipulate prices. On January 28, 2009, when Bases was working at Deutsche Bank AG, he put out bids to buy 2,740 gold future contracts valued around $244 million over the course of four and a half minutes. According to Maria Garibaldi, a vice president at Analysis Group, who studied exchange and trading data for prosecutors. More than 98% were canceled without being filled, she said. So most of them. On the opposite side of the market, a fellow Dutch bank trader basis coordinated with sold his 170 contracts worth $15 million as the price rose. Garibaldi told jurors on Wednesday, That does show you how easy it is to manipulate markets sometimes. Basis wrote minutes after the trading in a chat message sent to the other Deutsche Bank trader, Cedric Chenu. Remember this guy? According to Garibaldi, Chenu and other Deutsche Bank trader James Vorley were sentenced last month to a year in prison and a day, don't forget, each for their convictions in 2020 on spoofing charges at a separate trial. I fucked the market around a lot. Basis said in another message, Cack. Basis and fellow Maryland trader John Pasilio face federal fraud charges for allegedly spoofing the futures market from 2008 to 2014. Another episode described by Garibaldi involves trades by Basis and Pasilio on August 9, 2010, where both were working at Merrill Lynch. That day, Basis placed an iceberg order to buy 10 contracts of platinum, with six being filled at placement, she said. Less than 10 seconds after, Basis placed the buy order. Pasilio placed an order to sell 205 for 15.8 mil, which was almost 90% of what was visible in the exchange order book. Garibaldi said price went down. And the rest of Basis' order was filled, she said. Less than a second later, Basilio's sale order was canceled, she said. Garibaldi said employees at Analysis Group put in 3,000 hours studying data in this case over the course of several years, billing the government $1.2 million for its work. Jesus. Why would they include... Whatever. The defense attorneys have not yet begun cross-examining Garibaldi, Okay. In opening arguments Tuesday, Bass's defense attorney told the juror that once her client understood spoofing was illegal, he stopped doing it, and that nearly all the conduct the government identified was before the enactment of the Dodd-Frank, which specifically prohibited spoofing. I mean, they knew they were manipulating the market, but they are claiming that they did it before it was illegal. So, what's going to happen to the gold and silver market? Is this going to do anything at all? I'll bet... It doesn't.